Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Isha and I'm here today. Um, I'm actually on my way somewhere. So I just wanted to get on here because this has, I've been getting questions a lot. Um, and I know that my blessing is like here. I know what I've been wanting God to do is here. I'm gonna make this video quick and short, but um, yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions on why are you single? Where is your husband? Why don't you have any kids? You're 35, you know, you're getting over the age, you know, you know, your ovaries, you know, you might not be able to um, carry babies and all of this stuff. I've been getting a lot of questions and especially now working where I work at now. And I know that is nothing but like things to make me go, hmm, and try to like question God and Lord, you know, it's happening for them, but it hasn't quite happened for me yet. But as you can tell, I'm happy to make this video because I wanted to address some of those questions um, for my viewers. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like uh, this video, make sure you share it. I'm going to take this uh, jacket off just because... I'm a little warm making this video. But anyways, yes, yeah, so I've been getting those questions and it's just it's just like, man, how do I even answer that? I, I used to get like kind of offended. Like, why would you even ask me that? But I'm not there anymore. And uh, I got a little scripture coming out the Bible, of course, King James Version. And I'm going to address that. And those that are in the waiting period for anything, a job, uh, you think you're missing out on something. I used to think that way years ago, but now being 35, I'm in a new mindset, being saved and trusting God, standing on the word. So I'm going to address that. And why I'm single? I'm single because I'm waiting on God. I'm not just going to settle for anything. Um, I know my value now. I know that I'm a queen. And I see myself the way God see me. So, in that case, you know, you might ask, why are you single? Because I'm waiting on God. And I got a scripture to definitely back that up. And for those that are out there waiting or you're in your waiting period, you don't necessarily have to be waiting for a husband or a wife. You could just be waiting, you know, I'm not going to settle for that car because I know the blessing of the Lord make it rich and he added no sorrow, Proverbs 10 and 22. But for me, I'm addressing it because I'm like, man, it used to be pushing me to be like, oh my gosh, Lord, oh, man, why am I single? Why do I not have kids yet, uh, the twins or anything? I'm just like, okay, wait a minute. God, like, here's a scripture for you, you know, for those that want to know. So I'm going to share it with you. So I'm coming from Psalms, the 27th chapter, the 14th verse. And it says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. Okay, that sums it up right there. Wait on the Lord. Sometimes we get in a hurry. We get in a rush. We see our friends getting things. We see them getting married. We see them having kids. We see them um, just look like they're prospering. Well, God says he reigns on the just and the unjust. Now, what this scripture meant to me, I'm going off the Bible, what I just gave you a scripture, that um, Psalms 27, chapter 14, verse, wait on the Lord. Well, my thing is, my season might not be her season, so what God is taking me through, he knows exactly where I'm at in my life. God has an appointed time for all of us. So my thing is, you might see them getting married or you might see them having the baby or the family, but God knows exactly where you are and he knows exactly when he's going to bless you and when your time is going to come. So if you want to throw in the towel today, tomorrow might be the, the day that God says, here it is for your daughter or here it is for your son. So to wait on God means to us, and it's a scripture for this. To us, it might seem like it's years. But to God, that's only one day to God. So we have to know that God's timing is perfect for our lives. Don't let society, don't let social media get you into this area where you're just like, oh my gosh, it's not happening for me. They're doing this. And then you settle. You settle for that clown in the crown when you could have had the king. And I'm just saying like, I get a lot of these questions. Why are you single? I'm single because God made me a promise and I choose to wait. I've had a lot of clowns and crowns come in and trying to distract me, but I choose to wait. I said, Lord, hide me in you. So even with this 
you know, this new venture of a job that I'm doing, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, why are you single? You know, why don't you have kids? Is something wrong with you? And God told me, no, there's nothing wrong with you. I'm hiding you because you know the promise that you have and you know what I'm going to do for you. So I choose to stand on the word of God and wait. Whether it means I've been waiting seven years, I know that God is always on time. And I'm here to encourage someone because I know if I get these questions and when are you going to have kids? You know, I look at Sarah. She, she, God blessed her womb in her old age. And my thing is, I know I'm 35 and it might seem like, wow, you know, everybody's having kids. You know, maybe you're beautiful. Why don't you have kids? I don't know. Um, Maybe, you know, you're getting over the hump. Maybe you should be the head kids and a husband now. But I know and I trust God's timing. And I'm not here to encourage someone. Trust God's timing. It might seem like it's forever. But guess what? That is... It's only one day to God and God has your life your hands is in God so God has your life already mapped out he started from the end and he walked to the beginning of our lives so my thing is I choose to trust God I choose to understand that God has a purpose for my life um i'm single because i'm waiting on god i'm waiting on him the bible says the man that findeth the wife findeth the good thing and obtain the favor of the lord not the woman go out and find a husband or try to be looking no you should be hidden in the lord you should be found in your word you should be out in the field trying to see what can you do for the kingdom not oh what man can i hop up in front of no um actually that's why i kind of took myself off of social media because i felt like lord i was getting distracted and i wanted to have my focus more on god and what he wants me to do how my, I, I have brothers and family that need to be saved i'm not worried about the husband because god said if i delight myself in the lord he would give me the desires of my heart god knows my desire to be a wife and i am a wife i know that i'm a wife now but guess what i'm more concerned about building up the kingdom for god and guess what when i build and build up the kingdom for god and get busy doing god's work all of that stuff is gonna fall into place he already gave me the word of god that i needed to stand on so i'm not gonna draw this video out um long like i said i gave you the scripture um backing this up why I choose to wait and how God has been blessing God has been blessing me tremendously and I'm in a uh, time in my life now that I'm content with the Lord so y'all uh, make sure you like you uh, subscribe to my channel make sure you share this video and uh, y'all talk with my hands a lot if y'all know y'all know y'all watch my videos y'all see I talk with my hands a lot but God has been so good to me and I just wanted to get on here and share what he put on my heart for my men and my ladies out here that are just waiting and you're thinking like Lord what is happening for Huh, it's happening for him. You know, wait on the Lord. You'll never go wrong waiting on the Lord. I, I can tell you, I've been in situations, and I'm telling you, I've had to cry. But guess what? Every time God has literally come through and blew my mind, and I'm like, Lord, I'm so glad I waited. I'm so glad it didn't work out how I thought it should work out. I'm so glad you humbled me and told me to sit down somewhere, hide myself, you know, hide myself in the Lord. So, yeah, guys, um, I just wanted to get on here and uh, encourage someone. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching my channel. And have a great day, guys. Bye. I give you my heart.